I think when you, when you first look at that piece of paper that says you have significant prostate cancer, you kind of feel like you have this massive punch to the stomach. It's kind of like, how is this possible? I'm young and I have no family history and I'm healthy and I'm active, but that really doesn't make a difference. I'm really thinking, what do I need to do to, to be there for my family? My name's Rob Sandler. I'm a healthy 50 year old. I'm a husband, a father of two, and I live in Toronto. I work at this company called Exact Imaging, which is a Markham based company that has commercialized this really novel technology called micro ultrasound. And this is really high fidelity, high resolution imaging to help urologists diagnose prostate cancer. So this is our testing room where we validate our software, where we try out new applications on the micro ultrasound system. It's really our testing room to mimic a clinical situation. This is the room where, uh, where the engineers brought me to, to do the, the first imaging test. So like any other Tuesday, I woke up, I walked the doggy, I said goodbye to the kids and my wife and came to work. So every once in a while, the engineers sort of knock on my door and say, hey Rob, uh, we need to test our technology. Can you be the guinea pig for the day? About two years ago, I got that knock on my door and I came into this very room to have my prostate scanned as they tested some new software they were working on. And after a couple of minutes, I got a little tap on my shoulder saying, hey Rob, we, uh, we actually think we saw something on your prostate. And I turned around and looked at the screen and thought, uh oh, I'm seeing it as well. We sent those images to our, our partners at Princess Margaret Hospital, and they brought me in for what's called a targeted prostate biopsy. He asked me to review the images, and I did agree that yes, there is a lesion uh, on the prostate that would need a biopsy. So we arranged to do MRI of the prostate first. I looked at the MRI. We didn't see anything definite on the MRI. We anyways decided based on what we saw on the high resolution micro ultrasound, we do need to biopsy that site. So then I took Rob uh, for a prostate biopsy and on the biopsy at the site, he did have uh, clinically significant disease. I felt unbelievably lucky that it was caught early, there was a clear treatment pathway, and I actually understand the disease a little bit because I work in this space. So telling my wife, telling my kids, telling my parents, actually having to break that news was so much easier than many other folks have to deal with. He suggested a radical prostatectomy, which is essentially the surgical removal of my prostate. Uh, the surgery is about uh, three and a half hours, give or take. By the end of the day, I was back in recovery room. And uh, a couple of days later, I was released to go home. And seven weeks later, I was back on my spinning bike and, and back at work. I'm healthy without complications and extremely thankful that I get to spend the rest of my life and hopefully a long life uh, with my kids, with my wife, with the rest of our family and friends, uh, doing the things that we love to do and just enjoying life.